Hi buddy, this is Aino. In this video, I share very spicy ramen in Dogen Bozu. Let's go! Today, I came to Dogen Bozu. It serves very, very, very spicy ramen. Can you see? It looks incredibly hot, isn't it? Inside of the restaurant, it's very interesting. There are so many professional baseball team goods. He must be a big fan of it. There are 8 counter seats for customers. This is a vending machine. Buttons are colored by kinds of noodles. Red is spicy ramen and others are for non-spicy ramen, rice dishes, toppings and drinks. Only Japanese is on the machine, but no worries. There are pictures for ramen just above the vending machine. Let's get scared. I'll have a spicy ramen with seasoned egg. We can select from 4 different spicy levels. Of course, I'll order spiciest level called shibaki. And it's recommended ladies' nail and minced meat rice bowl with grated cheese are very nice for leftover serve. So I'll also take both. These are my tickets for today. <laughs> My ramen has arrived. This is a ramen meal that I ordered today. I'll share from spicy ramen. This is Karasuba Shibaki level with seasoned egg. It costs 1130 yen. It's about 8.61 US dollars. It's obviously spicy from its looking and smell. Let's see ramen in detail. First one is soup. Chili pepper seeds are floating on it. It's not thick, more than I thought, but it's too red. White radish sprouts are at the center. It's quite uncommon topping for ramen. This is so fragrant. Shred leg is also topped with ramen. Because of so much chili powder, it's blending in soup. Pork loin chashu is underneath of shred leg. It looks so tender, but it smells pretty spicy. This is also coated by so much chili. My favorite topping, season egg, is sunk in soup. It's still normal, but unfortunately, it's gonna be so hot. Dried seaweed is nicely on edge of the ramen bowl. Last one are noodles. These are medium thick baby noodles. These noodles are uncommon type for ramen. Let's have ramen. Please subscribe to my channel. Itadakimasu. Let's get started. I'll have soup first as usual. Yeah, it looks cool. It must be spicy. I'm getting cold feet now. Mm. Oh, it's spicy. But not that much. It's good. Soup looks absolutely dangerous, but it's not. It tastes really nice of chicken broth. Of course, it's quite spicy, but it has very gentle taste of broth. And it also tastes something very fragrant. I'll have noodles next. I'm so curious about these noodles. I don't see the thickness plus baby noodles so often. Wow, these are so chewy. Baby noodles nicely blend soup too much, and noodles are so much filling to have. Noodles are flat, but texture is good enough to chew them. I personally love these noodles. Let's have pork loin chashu next. Wow, it's very tasty chashu. Chashu is well simmered by sweet and soy sauce, and I guess it's slightly glad. It's really chewy yet tender. It tastes and smells wonderful, but of course, it's spicy. I found white lotus plus in soup. I tried. It's crunchy. This is good topping to add bread sauce. It tastes slightly spicy. It's interesting. Dry seaweed is soft and absorbed so much soup. It's a time to have it now. Okay, okay. It's very tasty with spicy soup. I personally think spicy soup with dry seaweed don't match each other, but this soup has quite strong chicken broth, so it well fits to dry seaweed. Last topping is my favorite one. It's a seasoned egg. Let's see softness. It's too slippy, but I think it's good hardness. Let's check inside.
It looks great. Come closer and see it. Let's have it with soup. It's enough. Itadakimasu. It's marvelous! Egg white is hot enough to keep its warm, and egg yolk is still there at the center. Seasoned egg makes ramen a little bit milder. This is great topping. When you come here, I strongly recommend to have this seasoned egg. My mouth is spicy. I want water. Water is always good. It's spicy, but I had all the toppings and noodles, but I have one more thing to share you. Let's move on to rice dish. This is okra and minced meat rice ball. It costs 300 yen, it's about 2.29 US dollars. Let's see it in detail. Chopped dried seaweed is on top. Japanese dish tends to have chopped dried seaweed. This is minced meat. It looks it's mixed with some other ingredients. It seems it's seasoned by something fragrant. This is chopped okra. It's well known as lady's finger. This is very unique rice ball. Let me have only rice ball first. Okula is so crunchy and minced meat is very tasty. This is so good. I like it. Minced meat tastes sweet and soy sauce with something very flavorful. I guess it tastes used to citrus or plum. Okula tastes flat, but this rice ball is well soft. Next step is putting ramen soup to rice ball. Shop manager told me this is the best way to have this rice ball. I don't know how much soup I need to put, so I just put two scoops for trial. That's it. I guess this is enough. Itadakimasu! Wow, it's even better. It's fantastic. Minced meat and nokula and spicy ramen soup make brilliant taste. Every single ingredient works really good. By the way, I think I should put some more soup to make it better. So just do it. And then I'll put powder cheese to the rice ball. It looks very, very, very good. Itadakimasu! What? Wow, wow, this is unbelievably great! <laughs> Grated cheese works amazingly good. Cheese makes soup really mild and tasty. I think something hot or others in cheese too. However, to make it better, I think I should some more soup to the rice bowl. Spicy soup and rice bowl are very good combination. Then my rice bowl is now like this. Because grated cheese is not colored by soup yet, it looks really mild. Let me have a. It's good, but I want more soup to make it spicier and tastier. So I decided I put all soup to the rice bowl. My dish is now like lava. It looks so spicy, but I'm sure this is really good. Yeah, that's what. It's awesome! It looks stupidly hot, but actually, it's not that much. Grated cheese works really good. Okula and minced meat and spicy soup are well blended and make wonderful taste. So, this is all about Dogenbozu and Karasuba. It's located in Shinnakano, and it takes about 5 to 10 minutes walking from the station. It's busy shop, but it's relatively vacant at just after opening and before closing. Dogenbozu sometimes serves special ramen. This looks good too. It's really interesting that ramen shop sells original t-shirts. So how about one of them for your souvenir? It also has two go menu, so we can enjoy its ramen in the restaurant or at home. Karasoba is really tasty. It's not too spicy, so if somebody is good at spicy food, it's pretty easy to have it all. Even if you are not good at spicy food, you can have less spicier or non-spicy ramen so everyone can enjoy ramen in Dogenbozu. 
I personally like noodles the most. These flat thick noodles are very impressive. And also okra and minced meat rice is fantastic. When you come here, I really would like you to try this rice bowl. I'm sure you're happy with this. I had ramen and even soup and of course rice bowl too. These are very tasty. Gochisousama deshita. My mouth is quite fiery right now, but it was great dish. I'm so stuffed. I hope you enjoyed my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all for today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!